Troubled former UFC middleweight fighter Elwood Dalton makes a living scamming fighters on the underground circuit. He is approached by Frankie, the owner of an unruly roadhouse in the Florida Keys community of Glass Key, who offers him a job as head bouncer. Initially hesitant, Dalton takes up the offer after narrowly averting a suicide attempt with a freight train that destroys his car. He takes a coach bus to Frankie's establishment, simply called The Roadhouse, and befriends Charlie, a teenager who runs a bookstore with her father, Stephen. At The Roadhouse, Dalton fends off a motorcycle gang working for local crime boss, Ben Brandt, and personally drives the injured thugs to the hospital where he meets Ellie, a doctor who tends to his injuries. Staying in Frankie's disused houseboat, Dalton mentors the other bouncers and becomes popular with the locals. After an attempt on his life by gang leader Dell, Dalton finds him lying in wait at his houseboat. He throws Dell overboard but is unable to save him from being killed and eaten by a crocodile. Knox, a psychotic enforcer, is tasked by Brant's incarcerated father to hunt down Dalton. After an unexpected date with Ellie, Dalton is threatened by Sheriff Big Dick to leave town at gunpoint but is rescued by Ellie, who is revealed to be the sheriff's daughter. She explains that her father is in league with Brant, who has inherited his wealthy father's drug empire. Brant meets Dalton at the roadhouse and taunts him about his past. In a UFC title fight against a friend, Dalton was overcome with rage and killed his opponent in the ring. Knox arrives with Brant's men and an all-out bar fight ensues, leaving Dalton badly beaten. Frankie admits that Brant has been buying up property to build an expensive resort, but she is the lone holdout. Dalton decides to leave town, but discovers that Charlie and Stephen are in the hospital after Brant's men burned down their bookstore. Enraged, Dalton kills one of the thugs responsible and captures a sheriff's deputy making a large delivery of Brant's illicit cash, framing the deputy for the murder and taking the money. The sheriff soon informs Dalton that Brant has kidnapped Ellie and will exchange her for the money. Stealing a motorboat to reach Brant's yacht, Dalton finds him with the sheriff, who tells him that the kidnapping was a lie to lure Dalton aboard. But Brant reveals that he is actually holding Ellie hostage. Tempers flare as Knox approaches in his boat, but Dalton detonates a bomb and finds Ellie below deck. Fleeing the sinking yacht by motorboat, Brant recaptures Ellie while Dalton commandeers Knox's boat. Catching up to Brant, Dalton and Ellie leap off as Brant is launched on top of the roadhouse. Climbing ashore, Knox hijacks a pickup truck and crashes into the roadhouse, leading to a brutal fistfight with Dalton. When Brant orders him to kill Dalton, Knox fatally snaps Brant's neck instead. He prepares to finish off Dalton with a shard of wood, but Dalton gains the upper hand and repeatedly stabs Knox into submission. The sheriff arrives, agreeing to cover up for Dalton. As Frankie and Stephen begin to rebuild, Charlie says goodbye to Dalton as he waits for his bus out of town. Stephen discovers Dalton has left them the trunk of cash as the bus pulls away. In a mid credit scene, Knox has survived and assaults the hospital staff, leaving in his gown.